Hello everyone, this is Zayda Golami from AgriMedSoft Research Lab and in today's video I am going to teach you how to run one sample t-test in Excel. So as you may know in data analysis you cannot see one sample t-test. You can you can just see two samples. Okay, and before before I get started, I want to have a brief introduction into t-test. So why we use t-test? We use t-test to study about the average. We want to see if the average of two samples or one sample is significantly different with each other or with a certain number. So what do I mean? I mean that let's say in here we have class a and class b okay we have class a and class b we know about averages we know that let's say averages in here is 80 and in here is 90 but we do not know if these two averages are significantly different so these are two important statements the averages are different yes they are if different if they are one is 80 and the other one is 80.1 they are still different but the, the thing we want to study in here is that are they significantly different or can we just um, get over this difference and can we uh, imagine them as equal? So that's, the, that's what we want to study using to test. And the other is that um, you should know about the variances so that you run the t-test. So you should know if the variances are significantly different or not. Um, in order to do that, you can run an f-test. So f-test is used to see whether the variances are significantly different or not. I have made the tutorial for running an f-test so if you want you can go check it out so let's get into here uh, so now in here we want to run um, a t-test one sample t-test when you want to run a one sample t-test you do not have two classes anymore you just have one class and let's say you want to study if the grades of that class of the if the grades of the students of that class are significantly different from a specified value so let's say now i want to study whether the average of the grades of this class is significantly different than 80. so that would be a one sample t-test so here is a trick you should you should use in order to in order to run one sample t-test using data analysis the trick is that in in the first column you have your data in the second one you write the value which you want to compare your data against so for example i said i want to test whether the average of the grades are significantly different from 80. so i twice write 80. okay that's it besides the first column i have the second column which has only two values and that's two times the number i want to test against then I go to data data analysis and i choose t-test two sample assuming unequal variances so please be careful unequal variances click ok the first range is this one the second range is this one I do not include the labels in here, okay? Hypothesized mean difference. So I have assumed that the mean difference is 
zero and uh, so that's it and in here notice that i want to run a two-tailed test so my null hypothesis in here is that the the um average of the grades is equal to 80 and it's not significantly different from 80 and my alternative hypothesis is that the average of the grades are significantly different than 80. so as you can see i do not say that the grades are bigger than 80 or smaller than 80. i i just say they are different than 80. so that's a two-tailed test hypothesized mean difference is zero for me and the output range even to be here so i click ok and then you can see my outputs are here so i have <clears throat> so i have the average which is the normal average of my data set and then i have variance which is also the variance of sample for my data set and then that's the number of observations and hypothesized mean difference which I defined as being zero. And then I have degree of freedom, which is 20 minus one. And in here, my results start. So I have T statistic, which is 7.4. So I have, I have to draw. So sorry so i have t statistic as being 7.4 and i have t critical for one tail and for two tail as i mentioned before i run the two tailed okay so because my test is um is run with the hypothesis of being two tailed so T critical for two tail is 2.09. Uh, so this is zero. Then we go for, let's say, one and two. This is 2.09. And we also have another um another one in here so we have another minus 2.09 and then we have t statistic the t statistic falls beyond here it's 7.4 so let's say it's here that's my t critical we know that uh, that's my t statistic we know that if the t statistic falls in this area this is the acceptance um zone and if it falls in here in here this area is the rejection area so uh, if it falls in here in this area we say that we could not reject the null hypothesis and if it falls in here we say that we can reject the null hypothesis so in here we reject the null hypothesis which was that the average is uh, is not significantly different with 80 we reject it and we accept that this is um, significantly different from uh, 80. So I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my sub channel. I have made a lot more videos about t-test about two sample t-test about paired samples to t-test and i have explained as much as i could for the t-test and for running the t-test using excel 
so i hope you go check them out i have also made videos about z test about f test and uh, etc so i will see you in the next videos and bye have a good day